Hello everybody. Now this video will teach you how to use the quick fix of the Western Digital Firmware Corruption. Now I have connected one pension hard drive to the DFSRP firmware repair hardware. So this is the SATA one. I have connected the SATA one pension hard drive. Now usually, we need to check the firmware situation by the WD firmware repair program. Here, this is the C panel, DFLC panel, and we click the WD, power on the drive. So this is one special Western Digital Firmware Repair program. And usually, uh, users can enter the program and select the family and get its hard drive ID information. Then users can enter the program and use all the special firmware repair functions and menus and can fix different kind of firmware corrupted cases. However, this special firmware repair program is usually for some complicated firmware corrupted cases. For some common firmware corrupted cases, users don't need to use this special program and users just need to use the DFLDDP common firmware repair solutions. Now let's check and compare. On the same SATA1 channel, I open the DDP. Now that means I have opened both programs, the firmware repair programs and the DDP data recovery programs at the same time. So on the left side, we can see that the Western Digital so this is the Western Digital Common Firmware Repair Program. Uh, these functions are the Common Firmware Repair Solutions. All these solutions are one-click solution. To fix the Common Western Digital Firmware Corrupted Cases. So it's very easy to this to use this kind of common solutions. That means for many common firmware corrupt cases, users can use this one-click solution to fix the failure and then go to the data extraction icon. Users can image the project or extract as lost data directly. So with the DFDDP data recovery program, users can image one project or can extract a lost files directly or users can repair the common firmware failures and then go to recover the lost data. So we can find out DFLDDP data recovery program is one very cost effective and very powerful and easy to use data recovery tool. Now let's try to scan the data arrow and we can see that this ID information, this is one Western Digital WD20 NMVW pension hard drive. So for this drive, uh, we can simply remove password. If you either click remove password, just one click to remove the password. Anyway, this hard drive is not encrypted, so it the knock window will output that the HDD is not encrypted. Next one, the initialization slow fix. This one is very commonly used 
For over 90% Western digital data recovery cases, and users can use this one to fix. Just simply click slow fix one. Usually, in most cases, over 85% cases, we can use the slow fix one and the restoration completed. So just one click to fix it and then go to image or extract the last data directly. So just one click fix and then recovers last data. This one is very easy to use. For some new drives, we can, we can try to use the slow fix too for some new Western digital drives. An added head map in RAM. This one is usually used for some head, weak head cases. Or sometimes, if we try to fix some uh, flat surface scratched cases, and we cut the head physically and then we can come here to click edit head map in RAM and then we get its head map and then we edit head wrap and then there's something wrong with the firmware sometimes when the firmware has some problem or when the firmware error is knocked and the users cannot use this one but for most cases, and users can use this one directly to edit head map in RAM. And then users can set up the head map when running the disk image. So this one is very helpful. And node nodal. Node nodal is to select nodal, select the module uh, 11, 13, 1, uh, 1B, and there are many nodes in the Western Digital for mostly, and the module 11 is a must. Reset Smart and Show Microcode. This one is very easy. Show Microcode. This one just help users to find out the store firmware to use for this kind of pension hard drive. Maybe sometimes users cannot find out the nodes for the original pension hard drive, but users can find out the microcode of the original pension drive. And next, users can find a stolen firmware with the same microcode from stolen hard drive. So the microcode is very important for the Western digital hard drives to find out the firmware modules. So these are the common firmware repair solutions for the Western digital pension hard drives. Now, from this video, we can find out all the common solutions for Western Digital, Seagate, Samsung, Toshiba, and the Hitachi. And we focus on the Western Digital in this video. And in other videos, we can introduce more about how to use the common firmware repair solutions for other hard drive brands. So it's very easy, just one click to fix the common failures, and then users can get the lost data back. Thank you for watching this video.